Welcome back guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Today I'm going to run through five different things you can do to make an AdWords campaign more profitable. Now those five things are negative keywords, tweaking your ad copy, selecting the correct keyword intent, the correct location settings, and finally device bids and how to adjust that to make sure you're only getting traffic from the highest converting devices. So let's just work our way down the list here with the first is going to be negative keywords. So if we go into our Philadelphia Roofing XYZ campaign here, it's just a standard roofing campaign we built in an example video. If we came under keywords up here to negative keywords, this is where you'll drop in all of your negative keywords. Now negative keywords are important to make your AdWords campaigns more profitable because they weed out wasted ad spend on irrelevant clicks, which Google will inevitably show your ads for no matter how great your AdWords campaign is. You always have to have negative keywords. It doesn't matter because your ads will show for, for stuff that you don't want to show for. So you can see here we have some some basic negative keywords in this uh, roofing campaign account. So stuff for like a guide or courses or college, clay, chimney. That's really important. So for bidding on roofing keywords, we don't want anything to do with chimneys. That's going to be wasted money. That are, if someone's going to click, and it's going to waste money for us. So that's why it's important to have negative keywords. So that's number one. Number two is going to be ad copy. So if we go up to the ad group level, now obviously this campaign has no statistics, so we're going to have to play around with hypotheticals here. So if we went into one of our ad groups and checked out the ads, so we should have three ads, obviously, for every ad group. Three to four, I should say. So let's say... These um, ads had a few clicks and the click-through rate, which is very important. If you don't understand what click-through rate is, go watch one of my videos on click-through rate. There's several of them out there. And then come back and, and watch this. But we're going to go based off click-through rate and conversion. All right. So if we have if we have ads that are have a very low click-through rate, like less than 2% click-through rate, you need to pause that ad immediately and create a new ad. Okay. Very important. You don't want to be running ads that have have a low click-through rate and a, or a low conversion rate all right so we're gonna add conversion column in here all right so there you go so you would have your click-through rate and you would see your conversion conversion right here so the most important thing most important takeaway to keep your AdWords campaigns profitable is click-through rate and conversion rate so click-through rate we always want to be above 2%. If we're not, we're going to pause those ads and create new ads with new copy because we got to bump that to over 2%. Ideally, you should be aiming for 5% plus, but 2% should be your absolute minimum for click-through rate. Now, obviously, conversion rate fluctuates. You want to be ideally around 25, 20, 25% plus conversion rate. I know that seems high for a lot of people, but that's what you should be getting. And, um, Anything lower than 10 is a, is a problem, so you're going to have to work on that. And I have several videos on how to bump conversion rates and stuff like that, so you should pause this video, go watch those, and then come back. All right? So number two is ad copy and how to tweak that to uh, to keep your campaigns more profitable. So number three is going to be keyword intent. So if we go back out to the ad group level, you can see here we have our ad groups. Let's go into one of our ad groups. Let's say roofing contractors. You can see the intent in our keywords. All right, we're only bidding on keywords that <clears throat> local roofing contractors. So that's someone who who has a problem, obviously, because they're searching Google for a local roofing contractor. And so we're putting our ad solving their problem directly in front of them. Same with roofing contractors. Same with roofing contractors near me. That's even higher intent. That's perfect. <clears throat> Top roofing contractors. So these are all keywords with higher intent. All right, you know what I mean? They're not just like. Like, uh, what's an example of a non-high intent keyword? Roofing contractor reviews. Okay. That's something we don't want because that's somebody trying to shop around and uh, they want to see several different things. If you're not going to show them several different things, then why the hell are you going to bid on that keyword? Because you're just going to waste $15 or $20, whatever the cost per click is for your area. Okay. So it's really important that your keywords are all high intent. That's going to streamline your campaigns and reduce wasted ad spend tremendously. Trust me, most people don't even do this, and it's wild. I can't believe it. But if you just do this simple thing and keep your keywords only high intent, you're going to have so much more success than you're having right now. All right, so number three is keyword intent. That's very important. 
Number four, and the most common thing I've, I've seen in all of my average years is location settings are never correct. So if we go back out to the campaign, you see we're at the ad group level again. We're going to come over here. We're going to go to settings. We're going to hit locations, location options, and you should always be targeting people in your targeted locations. The common one that everyone sets their campaigns on because it's recommended is people in or who show interest in your target locations. So this part is the key part who show interest in. All right. So that means your ads can and do sometimes show to people outside of your targeted location. I've seen it happen all the time with a few different clients and um, it's, a, it's a very common theme. All right. And when we do an AdWords audit for other for um, partners or anything like that, this is probably one of the most common things we see is this location targeting is always wrong. All right, so number four is location settings. If you adjust those, you're going to be uh, you're going to be done. You know, streamlining your campaign. Very important stuff. Now, number five optimization tip to make your campaigns more profitable is going to be device bids. So that's another one. We're going to come over here into our navigation of our campaign to devices. And you have three options. You have desktop computers, mobile phones, and tablets like iPads and Android stuff. You know all that. So let's say we had some clicks in here and some conversion data. We have to add our conversion columns. We are going to adjust these bids based on the conversion rates. Okay. So if, if desktop computer traffic is converting at 5% and mobile phones is converting at 30% and tablets is converting at 50%, we are going to dramatically decrease desktop computer bids. Okay. So you go to decrease. And I would say like 25 or something like that, depending on where you want to start. You would decrease that and you're going to pump up your winners if there's room to, to grow. All right. So if you're average, so I have to add. So you're only going to increase bids if your average position it can be improved. All right. So ideally, we want to be 1.5 to 2.5, let's say, on our mobile phone and tablet traffic, which is converting at 30% and 50%. Let's say they're at their position, you know, 2.7 or three and a half or something like that. We have room to run. We want to increase our bids. So we're going to increase by five or 10%. It's up to you. I incrementally in increase every week. See how it does. And you're just going to do that. So it's very simple optimization tactic. We're going to decrease our losers, increase our winners. And that goes for all optimization techniques. All right. When it comes to AdWords, really important stuff. All right, so that's it. That's the five the five key things to make your campaigns more profitable is negative keywords, ad copy, high keyword intent, correct location settings, and device bids. If you guys have any questions about any of these, drop them below this video in the comments, and I'll jump in and give you a hand. Other than that, give me a thumbs up on this video if you can. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description below this video. I've dropped a free um, Google AdWords optimization guide that you can use to turn around any sinking campaign. All right. So other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.